everybody, Teresa Sigmund here. Thanks so much for joining me for today's dress breakdown. Now, the point of a dress breakdown is so that you can um, use one of your inspiration dresses that you find off Pinterest, such as what we're looking at one of my pages right now, and learn how to dissect it and break down the design elements so that you can use one or two of those on your dress. Now I stress, please don't ever duplicate a dress because it's not fair to the designer or the original owner or even to yourself. So please just use one or two elements out of your design inspiration dress. So today I'm going to focus on this silver gown. Now this dress is one that I had actually used for a dress breakdown for some of my So Like a Pro members. And it was a half an hour video because I literally went through and talked about everything good and bad about the dress, how I thought it was made, the materials used, and things like that. But what I want to focus on with you today is let's talk about the back bra strap and how to give you some alternatives that are more visually appealing and offer more support. Here we are in Photoshop because it's a great way for me to demonstrate options for you so that you can choose what's best for your body shape and size and to create the best bust support possible that you need. Now this horizontal back strap here, this is basically a very dainty looking bra. And this, for most women that are a B cup or larger, this actually does not offer much breast support. And especially if you're a D, a double D or a triple D, this is completely inadequate. And the second problem with having this dainty bra look is that most women, unless you are very tiny like this dress form here, this back strap will almost always cause fat gush creeping out from underneath the strap. And frankly, ladies, I don't want that and I don't imagine that you want that. So I want to give you some options. So the first thing I want to do is just get rid of the bra so that you can see what it will look like without having any of these straps. One of the easiest and most effective things is to just come in and, and give yourself crisscross straps. So I want you to look at the difference of this. Here's the original. Here's if we add criss... Oops. <laughs> there we go. No back bra. There we go. So. Here's the original with the bra look. Now this looks particularly harsh because it's on a white dress form. But even so, if you do not have this being the perfect color for your skin, it will show up quite a lot just like this strap does. So what I propose is that you, one, give yourself more breast support, especially for larger breasted women, and two, you open up the line of this. So why not take the straps and make them the same color as the dress so that instead of trying to camouflage the breast support, you make it something attractive and appealing. And these crisscross lines run, you know, we have straps going here in the front, there's straps going across the waist. So having decorative straps that offer breast support is not out of line. You could even make these straps wider and put jewels on them if you were so inclined. It would be absolutely beautiful and be far more effective that way. Another option for larger breasted women is to create a wider strap. Um, wider straps offer more breast support, which is great for women with a D cup or double D, triple D, anything larger where you need good support and it will also tend to dig in less because it's wider. And when it digs in less, one, it's more comfortable, and two, it tends to create less fat gush here in the armpit areas. And you'll want to play around with how wide do you need these straps to be, both visually and for breast support. So if you're making the dress for yourself, take pictures as you're trying on different size straps. If you're having a professional dressmaker make it for you, then once again request that they try different shapes or different uh, widths of straps here so that you can decide what works best for you. Another option is, is if this is the original dress, you could come in and emphasize the asymmetrical neckline. So everything else on this dress is symmetrical except for the neckline. 
So one way we can sort of, you know, play up this asymmetry is to change the back again. And is that my one? There we go. Is to come in and give asymmetrical straps. Now these, in truth, don't really do a whole lot to create support. So once again, this is best for women who have who are smaller breasted. However, it does break up this line across the back. You could do without the line across the back, but you would still need for sure the strap on the right and possibly even the strap on the left. However, this opens up another design possibility for you. So if you like the idea of the three straps, but really would rather not have any flesh colored straps, if I go back to that version, I can introduce a trio of straps. I think this is a really sexy look because it keeps the straps thin, but because there are multiple straps, it offers a lot of breast support even for large busted women. Now, because there are basically six straps here, it would probably be a little cost prohibitive to come in and put these really gorgeous jewels on all the straps, but you could come in and just make it out of this fabric, which I believe is a hologram dot fabric, and then the straps would be shiny and blend all in without being very expensive like making it out of the jewels would be. And here are all the options that I just showed you. We've got the original dress with the very dainty bra look. If this works for you, go for it. Just make sure that you use a tanning mousse or some economical face makeup to make these straps match your skin perfectly. We have an asymmetrical trio that would emphasize the asymmetrical neckline. You would still have some flesh colored straps that you would want to tan. We have a thin crisscross strap for lean or small breasted women. We have a larger crisscross strap for heavier or larger breasted women. And then we've got a trio of crisscross straps to create really good breast support but still have a dainty look like these. So there you go. That is today's dress breakdown. If you found value in this, please tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. And if you would, go to sewlikeapro.com. Leave your name and email address so that I can make sure you never miss one of these dancing, skating, sewing tips. Lastly, leave a comment below. Tell me what is your favorite neckline, what looks great on you, and why. That's it for now. Thanks so much for joining me for today's dress breakdown. And remember, always create your own designs and only use one or two elements as part of your inspiration. So that's it. Talk to you again another time. Bye.